So what have you been up to? Not much. Just did an interview for Forbes, recommended by Veronica's mother, but she insists I call her Eleanor. <laughs> Forbes? Sh oh, Tracy, are you here? Didn't realise. Usually stand out so much. Because my parents are very busy people, they often send Lauren over to relay messages or just like general Moses business. I see Lauren a lot. Why have you got my pen? It's not your pen. Yes, it's but it my is giving pen. my pen. No, but how do you know no, it's your pen? No, I'm sorry. It is actually, my pen. Why do you take just all giving my, my things pen back from me? It's giving my pen. It's definitely isn't not it? yours. My name is Lauren. I am the executive assistant to Alistair and Eleanor Moses, and I have been for eight years. So I saw some pics of you and my mum on your Insta this summer. I, I think it was in their villa on the Greek islands. Yes, they were going on a family break and invited me. Ah, uh, how lovely. Well except for my idiot fiancé falling and spraining his toe. Then for his own good, I had to keep him in bed, drugged up on my own private stash of diazepam. Thought I'd need it for myself to survive two weeks with him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Annie Wilkes. Sorry? Annie Wilkes, from Misery? You're like her. But no, I love him really. Because he's f***ing loaded. <laughs> oh my God, you're a human thrush. So in the end, just me and your parents hiking. Breathtaking vistas. I'll always remember we watched a sunrise and your mother said it was like God was sending a message to the world, but only the three of us could read it. Just transcend. Ah, sounds lovely, but it reminds me of uh, the time I played hide and seek with them, August 1997. Mum, Dad, you couldn't find me. That was a fun week. Turns out they went to Cannes. That is some top-notch hiding and seeking right there. Until they upped their game and sent me to boarding school. Solid play. So, have you ever played hide and seek with my parents? No, I'm in my thirties. We're too busy going to Michelin star restaurants. Oh, I'd never eat in a garage. Why are you here? Nobody likes you. You called the parents of Tilly Parker. Bookshop girl. Oh, no, 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 I didn't do that. Gordon did that. Um, he's upstairs in Trisha's room scratching. He's what? Scratching. What do you mean, he's scratching? He's scratching. Gordon? Your agent, Gordon. The man agent, Gordon. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... Hang on. Uh, Gordon! What? Gordon, you remember... Oh, yeah, uh, Lorraine, right? Yeah. Lauren! <laughs> oh, never mind. How are you? Oh, yeah, fine. Uh, I've got eczema in my ear. I can't clear it. I suffer from it quite a lot. And that's why I have one longer fingernail. Sure it is. So, Gordon, <laughs> Mr. Gordon, <laughs> you called the parents of Tilly Parker. Bookshop, Bookshop girl. girl. Oh, yeah, right. The Parker family have a restraining order against Veronica 
forbidding her from contacting them, which will now extend to you. Thank Christ for that. I hate making calls and doing appointments. That is literally your job. Exactly. Gordon is a professional. A strong, powerful, masculine professional. But who you also sense could be very sensitive and understanding. Sorry? Nothing. I have to go. Uh, Tricia, you are an empty vessel. You may as well not be here. Gordon, keep doing what you're doing, apart from the phone calls. Don't do that again. Although, call me if you need to. What the f***? Is that bone? Oh. Oh. Veronica, lovely to see you. You should come by the house sometime, and by that I mean your parents' house. But I'm there all the time, so feel free to pop by. So lovely to see you. Enjoy adopting my parents to work through your own childhood traumas. Nice. There! Got the bu-